Well, I just want to give you a quick, uh, like, silver market update if you want to call it that but just something in general hey uh first uh if i'm going to say that you know i'm showing here uh the, the jc penny you know outlet store crashed right you know like an old mall well we know what's been going on in the retail sector in the united states for a long time uh, the retail sector has been getting it pretty hard and like every freaking christmas you, you could pretty much see the numbers right that's what's been going on that's the reality situation and even if you look in a lot of clothing stores, like the name, the brands that are fancier, like, you know, stores like Macy's or something, they're getting hit. Um, people are shopping for, like, Old Navy's clothes. That's That's been kind of a trend. So people are going more pragmatic and things like that because the economy does really suck, you know. The raw numbers, like when you're talking about the GDP and stuff, a lot of it's really because there's... A, the, the money's being was always pumped into the two bigs to fail. It's not really hitting the middle class. Middle class, we all know what's going on with that garbage, you know. But uh, I'm going to say this, you know, <laughs> you know, attention beyond this point, you encounter nude bathers. The economy, the real economy, basically that's the way it's going to be. Um, the real economy is going to be exposed. Uh, you know, they've been playing the games a long time now with trying to make things look a certain way, and they're not really that way. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm a person, I like to play low profile all the way. That's my style, okay? But, you know, I, well, <laughs> if you have any brains, you'd be doing it that way too because um, I know a lot of times on people that are talking about, oh, you know, I'm not going to give you anything like, you know, oh, you're going to double your money by the next month and all this. I never have. You know, I never do that type of stuff. And it's so ludicrous to see that type of stuff all over the place where people talk like that because it, they wouldn't need to be trying to sell anything to anybody, you know. You always see people trying to get them in with their little scheme or whatever the hell it is, <laughs> you know, because... Because I'm going to double your money. Like, why Why would you even want to double my money? We just double your own money. Say the hell with me, right? I've always seen, but you always see this kind of scam. But I, I can tell you that um, I don't think anything's going to be going up. But somebody's going to be making money. If you want to follow my train of thought on that, I don't think anything's going to be going up. You know, some people are saying, run to the dollar, run to silver, run to this, run to that. Actually, gold would probably be better, but, you know... It's like, I, I have to give you the old axiom with anything that with commodities or anything with precious metals or our commodities, they're high risk, potential high reward. You never, you know, you don't, this, this thing they always put out there like keep stacking, it's really stupid, okay? It's a matter of not like, let me put it this way, it depends on how much you do it. I mean, these people that say keep stacking like every bit of money they have, they keep putting in the one thing, that's not smart. It might turn out to be smart now maybe because this probably is about the rock bottom or pretty damn close to it or whatever. But uh, it's never that smart unless you've got a real strong stomach for a lot of volatility because that's been noted all the way with commodities. And... Um, I think though the you know, situation now is like it's, it is going to be turning around. Um, but you know what we got coming up around the corner though is I think there's going to be a major market crash. I'm telling you flat out. I mean we've been seeing some stuff now, and you know there's been another two percent lost on the Dow and all this stuff. It's going to be worse. It's going to be a lot worse, and they're not going to be able to fight their way out of this bullshit. I'm going to tell you that right now because they can't lower interest rates anymore. Right? Um, they're going to cancel the freaking interest rate hike. I know that for sure. <laughs> they, they can hang that up. The, the QE, and actually, you know, they already showed that the markets have never lost their addiction to QE. I mean, that's really what this is proving. Which is proving that Mark Farber has always been right all along. It's just like, hey, it didn't happen in three weeks or a month or some bullshit, you know? Hey, this guy's right. I know he's right. He's laughing about the rate hike, too. They ain't going to do no rate hike under these circumstances. No way now. But as we just go along here, I'm going to tell you that 
all the currencies are going down in value besides the stock markets. So, like, you're thinking, where the hell are they, where's the money going? Well, I think they got other vehicles out there that, you know, you know like, in other words, investment vehicles that where people are basically betting on the, the market's going down. That's where the money's going in those people's hands. I also mentioned a while back about George Soros. And I said this so many times in so many different videos. He has actually 16% of his net wealth wrapped up in a um, huge bearish bet on the S&P. Now it looks like it's starting to play out, ain't it? Like it's, it sounds so stupid. I've been talking about that for like over a year. He lost part of it. He lost out on part of it. He would lose out on the rest of it if he doesn't happen by the end of this year. But it looks like it's it's happening and it's going to go further. So, looks like old Soros has been right. You know, I don't like the guy or nothing. I'm not saying I'm a fan of his, but I'm telling you, it looks like he's he's going to be right. And you know, I was getting in with a lot of this other stuff with the uh, the engineers and stuff and this batteryizer. But you know, as far as engineering, the only kind of engineering I really appreciate is like Jane Man- Jane Mansfield. You know, I don't really give a shit about electronic shit. <laughs> Actually, I do a little bit, but. You know, I don't care about that. I was thinking about engineering. 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 What do you really care about what's engineered? If it's engineered like Jane Mansfield, that's what you want. Anyway, but, um, you know, as far as, like, what's coming up, I tell you one thing. I got some, I got an inkling, and trust me on this stuff, because this kid is not bad at, I don't know if you want to say it's senses or some crap. It's not really senses. It's a matter of, I keep reading and digesting loads and loads and loads of information, right? And I just kind of look at it in a common sense way. I don't like play it like Poindexter, and I don't talk like Poindexter, but I really do have a lot of information, and I'm just not going to put out a lot of stupid charts about currencies going down. I'll just tell you flat out, that currencies across the world are losing value. The dollar's starting to slip, too. Even though it's still strong, it's slipping. You know, it's slipping. The dollar index is going down, you know, according to Jane. Jane Mansfield knows everything, man. She should be president. And also, you know, if you want to give the thing about the elite are having problems, ha-ha, what about Clintons? Hee-hee. <laughs> you know, it's uh, Hillary. Hillary is in trouble now, big time. And I think, though, when it'll, all this crap starts happening with the economy, and the elite are going to lose control, man. Like, the, the, not like there's always an elite. There's always a 1% by definition. But, I mean, there's going to be an upheaval, and there's going to be a change in order, you know? I don't know if it's going to be good for the bad or whatever, but there's going to be a major change. But as the situation is going... Um, you know, I was looking at that thing with the message of Fatima, right? I did that other video on that. I was aware of this for a long time, you know. And I know they hid the secrets and they did this and they did that. I'm not going to get into all this stuff because, man, you start going down that religious trail. And so many people start telling me other things. And I'm like, I know about that. I know that somebody says this. I know that. I don't even want to get into this freaking religion stuff. But the thing is, I think that has a bearing on the economy, in other words, when they're telling you that all these bad things are going to happen, you're going to see that in the economy. Eh. And, uh, you know, that might be where Mark Farber always talked about when there's a lot of uncertainty in the world, in the economy, or don't matter what it is, whatever kind of uncertainty it is, hey, people run to the old standby called gold. And that would be silver, too, because silvers are linked to gold, right? Just like this rocket scientist over here is talking about. You know, the rocket scientist knows everything. I am a rocket scientist. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I want to go down that trail. I'll start doing another Muppet show here or something. Um, but as far as, you know, what's going to happen in the future, I can tell you, man, we really are going to the freaking gloom and doom, man. I think there's going to be... But you know what the thing is? It's not gloom and doom if you are bare bones... You're not highfalutin. You're not like you got. You're not on a treadmill for one. Like a treadmill, like you gotta have this high lifestyle. You know what I mean? If you're freaking just like, you know, you're really secure. You got good money and you got very low expenses and stuff. Ain't ain't gonna matter. You know what I mean? 
it's really where it get, the people get tripped up. It's usually the ones the big egos. They gotta like flaunt what they got. Eh. That's the ones that get tripped up. <laughs> They're the ones that always suffer the most when there's a downturn. You know, you see that picture like the guy that had the car out there must sell his car and the Dow crashed or something. I'll give you give me a hundred bucks for it or something like that. You know, whatever. So anyway, anyway, maybe Bat Lady will save us. I think this is Bat Lady's sister or something. But the thing is, and she rides a motorcycle. But the thing is, you know, we're we're looking at the situation. It's a matter of everything's going to be going down at once, and you're going to be wondering. And this is where people are going to be going. Eh, it's freaking melt. But actually, somebody is going to be make. Somebody will be making money. There'll be people making money. You know, actually. I wouldn't want to do this. I don't want to tell anybody to do this. I'm not going to do it myself. But I was thinking about it. I said, you know, you really should just move everything into a bet on a short on the S&P. Because I figured it was going to happen, you know, September, October or something. And I was I would have bet along with George Soros myself, you know, if I was really going to take a lot of risk and stuff. But then you got to pay taxes on that crap. I mean, if it was tax-free, I would do it. You know? That's what pisses me off, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to fly that Confederate flag, man. Tax rebellion, man. The hell with it. We don't want to pay taxes. Too much. But, uh, you know, the situation is, like, constantly always changing. And, in other words, people that are in power, they might be out of power. And, like, we can see the political situation right now with the freaking Hillary. She, she probably is out the door, man. I guess if she didn't have that stupid email server, she'd probably be skating all the way in to be inaugurated as inaugurated. She'd been crowned queen of the USA. But I guess she had that stupid email server. That was the thing that did her in. You know, if she didn't have that, she'd probably been cruising along no problem. Not that I like her or nothing. I don't think she's a bitch. But, <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I just figured, you know, we're we're gonna get some other yo yo in there anyway. So what the hell's it different? I don't know. I don't. I don't like. I don't like any of them, man. I don't even like Trump, man. I don't even like Trump. Don't get don't get too uh, this Trump guy. Don't get like too like. Oh, he's gonna save the world. The guy's a bullshit artist, man. I know this because I work with people like that, man. I mean, they're, they're, everybody they they always got to play up some kind of stuff. He isn't too bad though. I don't think he's that bad, but he's not. He ain't going to save the freaking world here, you know what I mean? So, a lot of people think that. And what I think, though, is coming down, I hate to say this, when they have a major implosion in the economies in the world, we're going to freaking war, baby. I don't like that. Because they got some really high-tech weapons out there now, today, you know what I mean? And, you know, I, I, you know, I talk about, you know, the precious metals are probably, you know, Mark Farber has always been talking. I think he's right. But, you know, he also says you ought to just head to the hills with a machine gun or some crap and, you know, hunker down in your bunker. He says that, too, Mark Farber. It's almost like probably that's what you should do. It's probably like what you should do because um, this is getting to a... a I, I don't want to, like, play doom and gloom here, but I'm telling you the reality of the situation is... I think we are going into some serious doom and gloom. Like, unprecedented. I'm not saying this because, you know, the elite guy told me, like, Pastor Yo-Yo or something. Or I could say Darth Nader told me. But, no, he didn't tell me either. I'm just figuring from other ways. Um, I can almost say I sense it, but it's almost like, you know, if... There is going to be a major implosion. There already is a major implosion going on. All the markets, all the currencies at the same time, all the metals, all the commodities, everything, all at once. How are you going to get out of it? They're going to QE the shit out of it, okay? Period. You know, they're going to do something. They're going to do stimulation. They're never going to raise interest rates. And you know what else? The last thing on the, the last thing, check the, the thing to check off to, like, keep everything going is devalue the dollar. And that's going to be something I think that's really why you're going to see the metals go up. They'll be devaluing the dollar more, like a lot. Uh, they have been recently a little bit, but they haven't been really doing it that much.
because, well, they didn't really, the Fed hasn't really shifted, shifted into gear to uh, create that policy. And as they de- the Fed's going to be the ones devaluing the dollar. But you know what's going to happen? They're going to blame China on it. You're going to say it's currency wars. And you know how that works. We'll go to real war with Darth Nader here. So, eh, I really don't want to put it to you this way, but I think it's the reality of the situation. Well, it's just like this. You know, the Pope had the freaking third secret from Fatima. You know, I had that on another video, and he's supposed to read it. I know, he, you know, I actually, I know, I know I saw that video about the guy, that, the, uh, the, 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 priest and stuff and he talked about the third secret and the Pope was didn't want to read it because um it was too bad, you know, it was really bad. It was also about the Catholic Church too. But I'm gonna tell you man, um I think that's coming up real fast. I think it is. So anyway <laughs> shit. I don't know what the hell to tell you here exactly because I don't wanna like I don't wanna like Make this too much doom and gloom, but I want to give you a reality. I think we are going in some serious shit. Period. Sorry. I really do. And it's not because I'm being negative. It's because I can see the writing on the wall. And I think I'm 100% right about this. That Mark Farber guy, I think, is right all the way. It just takes longer. It's it's taking longer than I expected, Okay. You know, for all this crap to happen, I figured by last year a lot of this shit would have already happened. But, you know, when it happens, it happens fast. You know? Uh, you know, the other thing is the Robert Schiller Index, like the rocket scientist is talking about here. He says everybody is still buying stocks, but they don't believe in them. And that was another major type of thing that happened right before the tech boom crash and actually you know when we had all this QE and you know, people say QE, QE, QE remember we had QE before I know it stopped in the last couple of years and we were expecting the prices of the metals to go up well what was going up and what was causing it to go up was the, the general equities that's really where the bubble was created this last time so, they're coming down hard. So, let me just say that, you know, there's going to be a lot of major changes. I don't know if Trump gets to be president. He's probably going to be the uh, the guy that knows how to do bankruptcies. <laughs> you know, that shit works, man. He's the guy that knows how to do bankruptcies. He'll say, well, we're broke. We, we ain't going to pay nobody. Tough shit. We're going to have a new clean slate. And uh, there you go. <laughs> we don't owe you nothing, China. Uh, that's what he's going to do. He's going to make a deal. <laughs> but, you know, in all freaking seriousness, if we go, we renege on the debt, they're going to get pissed off. I don't like the way this is going down, to tell you the truth. Although, this is not going to happen tomorrow, okay? Well, well, I'll tell you one thing. What could happen tomorrow is the markets can still keep you going down. I think by the time... The budgets come in, they're all fighting over the budgets and stuff. And the market's going to be, it's already going to be done. You know? We might see a, another least 30% retracement from what we are now. And the only way you're going to do to fix that is to devalue the dollar. They can't do much. They can do maybe a little bit of QE, but it doesn't work anymore. You know? Um, they can't really lower the interest rates. <laughs> they're definitely not going to raise them. They're going to devalue the dollar. They're going to blame it on China. So, I'm going to tell you that the silver stuff and some of the metals is a partial answer. But the real answer is, you really got to be 100% self-sufficient if you want to freaking get by on this bullshit that's coming up. And actually, you know, even though this is kind of like a hodgepodge of everything channel, I try to put self-sufficient stuff out, too, and I got a lot of other videos on it. And it's a matter of, we're really going to some bad shit, man. There's no doubt about it. I'm not saying this as a fear-monger thing. Or, well, let me talk, tell you this. Like, 
Um, there are a lot of people actually on the top that are worried. I mean, I read a lot of articles on, you know, Forbes and whatever, and you know, Financial Times, and there are a lot of people that are worried on the top. They're scared. And you know what they're doing with their money, though? They're buying, you know, farmland, livestock, because actually we had all those droughts recently, um, and actually the land, a lot of, there's a lot of, they've got a lot of good deals to, recently on, like, ranches and farmland. Uh, they could because the ranchers had to sell off all the, you know, their livestock because there was these, all these droughts, and so they just got out of the business. But somebody else went in there and bought them up cheap. So that's really what the elite is doing. They're buying and stuff like that. Like George Bush, you know, he's the, what did he do? Buy a bunch of land? I think it was down in Argentina or something for that reason. You know, water rights and all this other garbage, but. I think we're not, we're not, it's, they're not going to be able to fix it this time. The Fed is not going to be able to fix it this time. But do not ever have a strategy where we rely on some coins. That's stupid. I'm telling you flat out. It's not a stupid thing to do partially, but do not do that 100%. You'd be better off knowing how to have a garden have tools, solar panels, a couple guns, and whatever else, you know, a sewing kit and a sewing machine or something, than investing in coins. So I'm telling you flat out about this deal, okay? Although I do think this is the bottom. There is really about the bottom. It's got to be. It's got to be. Um, because the last time... We hit bottom on the general equities. The metals already hit bottom. They didn't go down at the same time exactly. The commodities went down first. I mean, it's not a perfect, you know, I'm just wondering how low can low can go, for crying out loud. But the commodities went down first, and then the markets came down. Now it looks like Yellen's going to have to do something. Like I said, I think she's just going to devalue the dollar. And there go. That's going to make the metals go up. But you just can't totally depend upon a bunch of shiny coins to get you by. Would you want a bunch of shiny coins if you're on a desert island? Or would you want like a bunch of farm tools and solar panels and a radio or whatever the hell else out there? Radio. Get some reception out there on a desert island. Or whatever. You know what I mean? Or, or Jane Mansfield. You know, if you're an engineer. Uh, or, so, anyway, um, let me put, put it to you this way. Uh, uh, don't put all your money into silver, even though it may be near the bottom. Okay? I was never an advocate ad, of that. And, you know, I was a guy that was always mocking the fu- Actually, to tell you the truth, when this shit goes down really bad, I don't know where the hell the prices can go. They can go way the hell up there. But it's more important to have your actual stuff you need to keep going and keep your and keep your life simple because if you don't keep it simple and you think you're going to be a rich jet setter or something like that because you're making all this money on this or that or you know uh, I'm going to tell you right now you're going to get tripped up there's no doubt about it the, and I've seen so many people with a lot of money they got tripped up and you would not believe it they get upside down so fast, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So anyway, that's bad all i got to say. It wasn't really like a, you know, I'm not trying to scare people. But then again, I was really trying to give it to you like straight on this shit. I think it is, we got some really bad shit coming up. We might be in major conflagrations in the Middle East a lot sooner than you think. You know, Russia's talking about, you know, accusing the United States of using ISIS against Syria, supporting ISIS. Really? We didn't do that, did we? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I already know what's going on, man. <laughs> Shit. God, man. They got so many games going on. That's why the Middle East is so confusing, man. You can't... It's not really confusing. I don't want to say what's going on. Cause it's, I don't think they want me to say what's going on. It was going on. Well, it's, you know what's going on. The USA actually created this, more or less. 
I don't know what the hell. They, they're back to mother Muslim brotherhood, too. You know, on one hand, they're telling you, oh, these guys are all evil. On the other hand, they're backing them. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Why? Well, I think I know what they're doing. They're trying to create as much intent, hate intention as possible, and the whole place is going to go kablooey. And that's really when you're going to see the little shiny coins go up a lot in value. But don't go betting on all that bullshit all the way. Don't. 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 You know, that's why I don't put all videos out on little shiny coins, because they don't really do anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? They might go up a lot in value, and that's a good thing. But then again, they don't get you... Well, it's almost like shiny coins are almost like chrome. Chrome don't get you home, man. You know? You know what I mean? It could help in some other ways, but it's probably not going to provide you the practical survivability that you need. And that's the most important thing. Because we got a new age coming up, and uh, this might be, I don't know. <laughs> they, they, you know, I don't know what's coming up, man. I think we got some bad shit coming up, to tell you the truth. That's why I put that video out on the Fatima, and I, I knew about that for years. Uh, you know, I know the controversy over it and all that kind of crap. But it's right now, it is really fitting the situation to the max. I also know these religious people are always, always saying the end is near. <laughs> I don't think the end is going to be near, like the end, the end, end, and all this bullshit. But we're going to be going through some tough times. So, you know, don't worry about getting rich. Worry about actually getting by and surviving. So I guess I'll leave you with that thought. Don't worry about getting like, oh, I'm going to make a pile of money. Uh, it's not going to be a good situation. And if you do make a pile of money, stay low profile and keep your mouth shut. Very important. That's your number one rule. 